which moves us on to our next bout between uh, Shane Young versus uh, Shane Young versus Jake Matthews, is it? I think that's what I've got. No, Shane Young is... No, sorry, uh, no, sorry, not Shane Young uh, versus Jake Matthews. What am I talking about? Le Shane Le Young versus uh, Ludovic Kalan. Yeah, sorry. The ESPN cards are literally mixed up completely. So, yeah, what have you boys got for that one? That was... Uh, the Tapology card is a really good one to have pulled up. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to pull up tap. Yeah, I'm going to pull yeah. up Tapology now because ESPN, like they've got. Yeah, so um, I like Sugar Shane Young in this fight. Um, again, I'm I'm not going off. I haven't looked too much on the odds on it, but uh, I I like I like the guy that's had the UFC experience. Uh, he's been in the cage, went to a unanimous decision loss with the current champ. Uh, Alexander Volkanovsky, um, mm. you know he's he's been in there. He's been in some wars, and uh, I, I, I'll and that's his only loss in his last eight fights is to the champ. And uh, when that was his UFC debut, now he gets to introduce a young up and comer. I believe sixteen and two. It's making his UFC debut, and uh, I expect a really high paced, really uh, exciting featherweight fight there. But I, I would take Shane Young by decision. I just think. Uh, his experience gets it done. So I don't think for the foreseeable future, at least the last next like six to 12 months that I'm planning on ever betting against anybody that trains at uh, city kickboxing. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to pick them uh, across the board. And this one's making it real easy for me. You know what Klein? I like, uh, I like what he's doing. He's explosive. Uh, he's got a couple submission wins under his belt. He's got some big stoppage wins, but I really think that you have to look. This matchup almost seems like a little bit of a mismatch to me for the matchmakers to have made because we've got Shane Young, who his only loss out of his three UFC fights is to the current champion in the division that he's fighting in. Uh, and then we've got Clyde, who's the number two ranked featherweight in Eastern Europe. So that's a that's just such a big competition difference that I can't imagine how the matchmakers sat there and watched those fights and then tried to figure out how it was going to match up against someone that's training with multiple world champions. It's just an interesting mismatch. I would have liked to see Klein get another fight, get a fight, get a debut fight in the UFC before he fought a guy that's kind of at this high of a level. I would have liked to see him get one UFC fight under his belt before this. I think Shane Young's going to pick him apart and destroy him. I don't think this is even going to be close. Wow, Burner. So for the first time, man, I, I couldn't disagree with you more. Um, I like Shane Young. I think he's a great fighter, city kickboxing, like you said. I think he has a bright future out here. But, man, when I was watching tape on Ladovic Klein, I was really, really impressed. The dude's 25 years old, 16 and 2, seven TKO wins, eight sub wins. I mean, he's versatile. If you got that many TKOs and that many subs, I mean, you could pretty much do it all. I do agree with you that uh, Shane Young has definitely faced a better competition. I mean, as Zach said, you know, he fought Alexander Volkanovsky, took him to a decision. That was on eight days' notice, too. So, you know, you got to give him props. The dude is, he's a tough dude for sure, but he's one of those guys. He doesn't have the most technical striking, but he'll give one to take one. And against the Dovis Klein, you don't really want to do that. This dude is an athlete. He's got power. Everything coming from the left side is deadly. Uh, he throws amazing high kicks, nice body kicks, nice leg kicks, decent takedown defense against uh, non-wrestlers at least. This is going to be a striking match, and I do give the advantage to the Dovis Klein. I just think he's a superior athlete. He's got the better power. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I made a lot of bets on the Dovic Klein. Uh, I got him in many parlays. I got him straight up. He was the underdog. Uh, initially, the line has kind of changed. People are kind of seeing what I'm seeing, in my opinion. And now it's, I think it's like a pick em fight now. But I'm going to go with Dovic Klein. I'm really excited about this fight. This this fight and a couple of other low-key bangers on the card, I'm like super pumped for. And uh, yeah, this is the first one that I'm really excited for. But I'm going to take Ludovic Klein via TKO. I think he's going to get the first TKO victory against Shane Young. And I'm going to go in the second or third round. Man, this is a tough one. I uh, Initially, when I looked at this one, I was all over Shane Young. But mm -hmm. as you just echoed on here, this Klein's a stud, man. And and the lines, it's pretty much dead even on the line. I mean, it's pretty much a pick em fight, um, which is telling me a lot about Klein because with Shane Young's experience, with him having already been in the UFC, having, you know, having fought the current champ, granted it was, what, three years ago? Still, he still goes to a decision with uh, Volkanovski. Um, I mean, I was leaning super heavy on on Shane Young, but I, 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 I I'm thinking I like Klein on this one, man. I think uh, 
I think people are gonna over. I think people are overlooking them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on the Klein train. So what do we got? Two, two for Young and two for Klein so far. Yes, sir. <laughs> Take it away, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> um, th this is a hard one. This is a real difficult one. Um, Klein is a proven finisher, whether that be by submission or um or KO. But as he's more recently really proven his um his knockout power, so I'm fully expecting a um a, sta a stand up battle. Um, I think he has a bit more momentum into this one than Shane Young, bearing in mind he's unbeaten in three years. Yeah, you've got the context of Shane Young only losing to the current champion, um, but I do still think that applies. Um, Young was originally scheduled to take on um, Nate Landwehr until about a week ago, which mm. kind of tips it in his favour um, for me. So um, Klein has a massive um, disadvantage in terms of preparation time. Uh, Shane Young's never been stopped, and I do think that's what um, Klein excels at in stopping guys. So finishing him could be very hard work. Um, that combined with the late notice may cause some gas tank issues potentially, um, which means I'll go with the young decision. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree. I think, well, in terms of betting on people who come in on short notice, I'm one of those who I tend to back the guys who have had the full camp, who have had the full training. And it's always tough to back the guy who's coming in on seven days, a week notice or just under two weeks notice. But I don't know. I think in this one, you've seen fighters step up on um, short notice or making their UFC debuts and just exploding on and bursting onto the scene. I think one that comes into my head recently is obviously you've got Chimaev and then uh, Yuri Pashaka against Volkan Uzumi, just in, which was a sensational performance. Probably one of the, <coughs> the highlights that, um, on Fight Island. But again, playing on, on short notice, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably going to back him on this one. I totally agree with uh, Bajid. I mean, from what I've seen recently, and when you do your research, he's got a wide range of ability, he can do it all, but his striking has probably come up clutch recently in terms of the left-hand side, as you said, Thatcher. And again, this guy can do it all. And going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the guy like Shane Long, as, as you boys mentioned, he, he faced a champ, went the whole distance with uh, Volkanovski, so it's never easy to do, even though Volkanovski was working his way up himself to go the distance. You know, fair play to him. Uh, you take your hat off Shane Long, but in terms of the stand-up game, I'm probably going to lean towards Klein on this one and this is very optimistic but what a way to make your debut and a second round TKO against Shay Long to best on to the UFC scene so I'm going for a Klein by a second round TKO